Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. And I say, happy holiday. And my guest, I tell you, she has done a beautiful job there. Uh, Whitman's, uh, we have Mrs. Douglas. Now this young lady, she has brought to Prince George County, the Woodmore uh, Center there, fantastic service. They were ranked number one, all of that. And, and I, it's so many things, but I like to show my appreciation and appreciation of Prince George County for the fine job that she has done. And she's been doing it for four years. Mrs. Douglas, Hi, welcome Mr. Brown. to the Ed Brown Show. Thank you for having me today. And, and I know you're busy and everything, the, the things that you have to do, but uh, uh, I had to bring you on because you were on four years ago. Yes. And, and when you first hit Prince George County, I said, well, I have to check this out, see who's <laughs> in charge here. And I found your name and I went over before the store was built yep. and everything mm -hmm. and I brought you. Tell us a, a little about those four years, all the yes. awards and things that <clears throat> you've uh, received. Absolutely. Well, um, it's been a, a, a wonderful four years that we've been here in the county, in the Wilmore Town Center. And in that four year time frame, we think that we've been hopefully been able to bring a quality shopping experience to our customers. Uh, we have employed many people over the last four years and, and we've hopefully developed a culture of food appreciation and great service to the residents of the county and particularly Wilmore Town Center. So it's been a great four years. Business is great. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking forward to this time of the year, the holiday season, to help customers enjoy great meals. Mm -hmm. um, and as you mentioned earlier, um, as a company, we've uh, experienced some great success um, with some awards. We were yes. you know, Wegmans was rated number one right. grocery right. store um, from Consumer Reports earlier this year. Well, that's what I was trying to tell people. Wegmans was rated number one. I saw the sign there. And I told Mrs. Douglas, what was that about, you know? <laughs> and that's exciting because those are our customers. Um, yeah. and, and for us to be a fairly small grocery train, chain in comparison to some of the larger chains, that means chains, it means a lot that mm -hmm. our customers think so highly of us. Mm -hmm. And for 17 years straight, our employees have rated us one of the top places to work as well. So no uh, we are excited that both our customers and employees um, have an affinity for hopefully what we're able to do every day. Oh, good. Just tell us some of the things that you, some of the people don't know about that you thinking about bringing and that you uh, want to let them know that that you're doing now. Sure. Well, um, you know, every every day, hopefully we're providing quality service and quality product. Um, our menu magazine we release every quarter is hopefully a resource for our customers to learn about great recipes, uh, learning how to hopefully make better meals healthier. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying to promote um, a high line of organic foods throughout the store in all departments. Um, once again, as we go through the holiday season, we want to make sure that customers know we're their destination mm -hmm. for great meals and entertaining solutions. Um, we have a knowledgeable staff that can help them um, find quality product. And as always, we try to make sure that we can commit to um, our community mm -hmm. by making a right. difference in a lot of the, the ways that we are able to connect and donate and support different organizations throughout the community. community. That's another big thing for us throughout the holiday season. And, and, and one thing, and I get all positive things about that fireside room that you have there, I mean, it's like a community center. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I tell people when you, know? when you walk through the store and you see groups of people congregating and mm. having meetings and right. um, Bible studies and study right. groups and chess games. I mean, right. it really does become a community right. um, and a store. People who come to the store every day to do nothing more right. but, but meet people. So it's yeah. a social atmosphere. That, Not only can you find good food, but you can have a great right. time with your family and friends. And there's nothing like it in Prince George County. In fact, in Thank the you. whole area. Thank you. And, and people often talk in fact I have when I want to meet someone I said <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's true me and, and we fire. appreciate that because me, me <laughs> fire side is. So, we know that people so, have a choice so my my yeah. son my son told me said uh dad where were you he called me I said you know I was in my <laughs> office he, <laughs> you don't have no office? Wait. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I said the fireside <laughs> is my yeah. office yeah. because it offers so many positive things. You have the environment, you have the uh, food, and then uh, the thing that I like about it is that uh, you can just relax there. You can actually use your uh, electronics. Mm -hmm. We have free Wi-Fi service. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what you have brought to Prince George County, and I talk about it all the time, is a very positive community spirit. 
that they we've never had the community spirit from the uh, uh, stores like that. Well, I appreciate uh, in it. In Prince George County. Our and customers are very passionate. And, yeah. and that's, you know, when we do something well, they let me know. But when we do something that's not right, they also right. let me know. And I appreciate that because mm -hmm. there is a high level of loyalty. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't take it for granted. So I do mm -hmm. appreciate that, um, yes. that feeling that, that you have as well as I have as right. well. Because what happens is the young people, you, you, you've thought of everything. You have a, a section there. If you're not meeting uh, at the fireside room, you have a section there for youngsters. Mm -hmm. And they actually, you have, a, you, you have entertainment for them there, too. Mm, absolutely. And, and uh, it, it's not just a section that you uh, decide to rope off for them. You have the furniture and everything geared mm -hmm. to the young people. Absolutely. And you have the, the different things that attract young people to games and things like that. And uh, as far as Prince George County, we've never had that kind of uh, service from the business community that you are offering. You know. Well, thank you. And that's, that's just Wegman's um, philosophy and our mm -hmm. vision of, of providing an environment for all mm -hmm. customers to mm -hmm. enjoy the whole experience. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, whether you're shopping for food or enjoying a meal with your family or just having a, a relaxing evening mm -hmm. with a loved one, mm -hmm. we, that's what right. we do. That's well, that's what, what I mean. We do. The, the fireside room <laughs> is really set up. You got the fireplace mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what better environment would you want to meet someone mm -hmm. <laughs> and, absolutely you, you know because you have the facility there hey if they want something uh, 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 to eat or if they want mm -hmm. just something to drink I mean you don't have to go all over the, you have everything hopefully one so, stop huh? yeah, one stop, one stop. and, and, and that. Uh, tell us about the uh, entertainment at the, the children's program now the children's program? Mm. Well, we have um, we don't have any children's programs mm -hmm. right now, but we still have our long-standing um, Friday night and Saturday night entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, we have the live bands that are there every Friday and Saturday night from mm -hmm. six to nine. Mm -hmm. We do have a cooking with kids class that we conduct. No kidding, mm -hmm. and cooking usually, with kids. Yes, we have a cooking class that we <laughs> oh, offer wow. for children. We promote these events on our monthly calendar in the store. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in the store, take a look at that. Mm -hmm. But we try to do those at least a couple times a month on Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can register Saturday at the service desk. Mm -hmm. Anytime but, we have an event in the store we do promote that on our mm. monthly calendar in store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this, the, the way that it's laid out and the things, you know, that you're bringing togetherness and, and every community needs that type mm -hmm. of atmosphere, mm -hmm. you know, where, where you feel, hey, when you have guests, People come in town, hey. They bring them to the West. <laughs> where do you go? You go there because yeah. the, the, of the environment that you have there and the variety. Mm, See, absolutely. That, that's the other thing, you know. Uh, quite often, you know, you find, uh, you know, some people they picky on, you know, I don't want this, mm -hmm. I, I can't eat at night. But uh, there. We think we have <laughs> something for everybody. Yes, we something do believe that. for everybody. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, now, uh, what do you have in plans in the future? I know you, uh, you're thinking about. Well, um, just continue growth. I mm -hmm. mean, every day we come in, we try to get better at what we do, and that's providing quality service and quality mm -hmm. product. Um, as far as anything new, there's no plans mm -hmm. for the store in terms of expanded products mm -hmm. or departments. Um, you know, every season rolls around and we introduce new, item, new mm -hmm. items. New items, yeah. Um, and then, you know, we're excited about the growth of the development. There's new homes being built behind the uh, town center. So we think that that'll be a great addition um, and even more customers that'll be able to experience Okay, wagons. tell us about your, uh, the employment program that you have for the young mm -hmm. people. We the do. The training involved. Mm -hmm. I think you do some training there that I'm not aware of. Well, we do. I mean, we, when we employ, employ uh, new, new hires, we have an extensive training program. We are partnering with the Hillside Work Scholarship Program in the county. The Hill Hillside Work Scholarship Program. No um, kidding. We work very closely. Congratulations. Thank you. We clo we've worked closely with them um, mm. for four years here in the county. Um, mm. And it's a program where we partner with a number of local high schools and middle schools. No kidding. And once the, the students are certified for employment, we bring them on board and give them an opportunity to work for us. And hopefully upon completion of their high school years, they'll receive a scholarship from Wegmans. Is, is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, well, what about the uh, 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 and management training, that type of thing? Mm -hmm. You get involved? We have some internal training programs. Mm -hmm. We have a management internship program and a management training program for internal um, mm -hmm. employees, for employees, employees that are currently yeah. employed, mm -hmm. um, where we uh, 
put them through a formalized training program, hopefully with the uh, goal of them becoming management candidates for the future. Hey, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this, uh, you, you know, I, I drive by there, you know, and like I said, the first place I get visited, the first place I <laughs> take them is, is over there. The coffee there. bar, then the fireside room. Right, the fireside <laughs> That's why I see room. you with the coffee right, bar. Right, <laughs> the fireside room. But mm -hmm. those are things that, you know, we're looking for, and, and like I say, it's just uh, uh, fantastic. Thank you. Your service. And, there, I, I, and I can see, and we can see uh, here in Prince George County why you uh, was number one, Thank why you. you're, Thank you. uh, the organization is, is number one because the, the planning has been done and has been done uh, well. Thank you. you know. you know, it's been a growth process for us over four years, and, but four and we're years. constantly evolving. So uh -huh. I appreciate that. I, uh -huh. My team really, uh -huh. I give them all the credit for anything mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. see as a success because mm -hmm. I do feel very strongly that we have an incredible team and we only get better with time. Yes. So, thank you. And then you have a suggestion box, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> if a customer has a concern, complaint, inquiry, right. our job is to respond in a timely fashion timely fashion and and hopefully uh, take care of the customer. Tell us more about this Hillside uh, mm -hmm. training program. Mm -hmm. That is something we've been involved with the Hillside training program um, back uh, it started um, probably almost 30 years ago in Rochester, New York, no which kidding. is our corporate headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, and it was created to address the high dropout rate in Rochester, New York. And so Danny Wegman and his father, Robert Wegman, decided to begin a program to assist with employing students who are at risk. Since then, it's evolved into our other markets, such as Rochester, New York, Buffalo, New York, Syracuse, mm -hmm. New, York, New York, and now Prince George's County. Mm -hmm. So it, we just, when we decided to open in the county, it made sense that we would bring this program along with us. So um, it's just an extension of something that's been in place for many years in upstate New York. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you for thank taking, you. taking the time to come over and let uh, individuals know that our, our Edmonds is number one because oh yeah, don't 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 believe it. You go <laughs> over there and the service and everything. In fact, they, they, they if you go there enough, they'll know your name. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do, and we have so, many customers that come in right, every day that we right, know their that, name. They, they, yeah. That's the type of environment that you're in. And once again, uh, this has been Ed Brown. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, hey, the holidays coming. Happy holiday. See you in a second. <laughs> Everybody, put your hands together and clap your hands. Come on, y'all, come on. Everybody, put your feet together and stomp your feet. Stomp those feet. Everybody, put your arms together and wiggle your wings. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Hey, welcome back to the Ed Brown Show. And what we have here, Devin uh, uh, Walker. Uh, I mean, this is Uncle Devin. And uh, I mean, by popular man, he's back here to give us some more information. Tell us, De Devin, about your uh, group. Okay. Well, again, thank you for letting me be here. Um, uh, I'm Devin Walker, well, really, the Uncle Devin Show. Yeah. And the Uncle Devin Show is a live, interactive musical experience for children that uh, uses percussion instruments to cultivate their mind. Sort of a dynamic cross between Fat Albert and Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, wow. <laughs> that sounds good. And so and since the last time I was on your show, we got a lot of good uh, comments and feedback. So I had to come back and, and share more with uh, the residents of Bowie and Prince George's County. And mm -hmm. uh, and being a product of the county, it's just a, mm -hmm. it's a perfect fit for me. So, All right. so things are going well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, you know, since we last spoke, we've had a lot of shows uh, that we've performed at different places. Mm -hmm. uh, the Kennedy Center, we'll, we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit more about that. But uh, right in the middle of the school season. So right. we're in and out of um, all types of uh, school mm -hmm. systems, whether it's um, uh, in, in Anne Arundel County, Baltimore County, down in uh, St. St. Mary's County, and uh, Montgomery County. So mm -hmm. we, we stand pretty busy right mm -hmm. now in this, mm -hmm. in this cold, but very um, uh, fall, fall like Yeah, season. good thing we're not in uh, 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 what is that, Syracuse and uh, Buffalo. <laughs> come on, six feet of snow? snow yeah. Oh, my oh no, God. I, I'll take what we have every day. Right. That. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how, how the youngsters get involved with your uh, mm -hmm. show there. Well, the first thing is you always reach them. I'm a drummer, so mm -hmm. I reach them with the beat. Oh, I see. So as a drummer and a percussionist, I make sure that I always bring instruments with me. So, mm -hmm. for example, I have a, a whole assortment of uh, musical instruments that I bring uh, at a show. Mm -hmm. This one here is uh, a West African talking drum, for example. 
Where it's <laughs> African talking yeah. drum. And they call it a talking drum because anybody that knows anything about percussion instruments and drums know that they were a form of communication. Right. And when you use them as communication, you can actually use the drum to talk. So hmm. this instrument is the type where you play it with the instrument underneath your arm. And when you squeeze the instrument, it will make a different sound. So, for example, without it being squeezed, this has more of a flat sound because I haven't tuned it. But when you squeeze it, and so what I'm able to do during my show is not only share with them the different instruments, but I'll have children come up, especially yeah, for yeah. smaller groups, right? And have them come and we'll create something. I mm -hmm. I have what I call um, I created my created my own language. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my my ukulele. That's called. Mm -hmm. um, I created my own language, and it's called drumish. Mm -hmm. And that is whatever I say, they have to play. Play. So oh, I'll go, I know they like that. Oh, you oh, know, there's wow. some great drummer speakers out there. So yeah. it's like dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. And so I'll do that either on this drum or on a set of bongo or conga drums and let them really touch the drums. Because as you know, mm -hmm. there's nothing, there's really no substitute for um, allowing ch a child to come up and really right. involved. They, they, they love being involved, you know. That's correct. Yes. That's See, correct. It's no, uh, you can have a, a show and uh, it can be a half an hour. And what will happen if they're not involved and they're squeezing around, looking up in the ceiling yes. and doing everything. <laughs> That's but right. paying attention to <laughs> Although right. you have a message. But when they are involved, and that's, that's the key. Yes, that, that's that's a key. Getting them involved. That's right. why I wanted you to come back mm -hmm. and actually bring some of the instruments mm -hmm. and and demonstrate sure. to to them. And mm -hmm. then we have a couple clips here mm -hmm. where uh, you did this at the uh, right. Kennedy Center. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, like for example, with the talking drum. Let's say I'm trying to introduce, and I say I have a friend, um, but I'm gonna use the drum to let you know what her name is. Now mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I'm, I'm, the drummer's going to tell you the name of, 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 of what her name is. Uh, so I'll do something like this and I'll say, let me know what you, what, if you recognize this. That's one drum mm -hmm. and it's played different melodies. Yeah. And then most children will say, well, that song is... Mary Had a Little Mary Lamb. Had a little. So my friend's name was Mary. Right. So I'm able to use the drum and maybe mm -hmm. using songs that they may be familiar with mm -hmm. to be able to uh, communicate. Mm -hmm. But even beyond that, there are times where you can communicate when you're real happy or when you're sad or when you're excited. And to, to give them an opportunity to take an emotion, for example, and create a rhythm associated with it, you can actually build a whole language just in one 45 minute uh, mm -hmm. training session. Mm -hmm. And that's what I do generally in a lot of um, residency programs. I, mm -hmm. I, I do res residencies at schools where I mm -hmm. will spend um, at least four days with one class and we would do a series of events focusing, you know, working with the teacher, mm -hmm. cre creating our own curriculum. And, uh, and this is called, you know, the world of percussion. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we'll, we'll talk about how instruments come about. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I don't know if you've ever seen this instrument before. I don't know. I don't think so. It's a funny looking <laughs> instrument here. It's called a vibra slap. Mm -hmm. It's called a vibra slap. And it's, it was made because it was actually, the, the instrument is to mimic the sound, of, you know, back in, um, you know, nothing really ever went to waste. And if they had the skeleton of a donkey, let's say a donkey would die and they had mm -hmm. the skeleton of a donkey, they would take the teeth, mm -hmm. the teeth of the donkey, and they would shatter it. I mean, they would, they would shatter it. Shatter it. Yeah. And they made an instrument out of it because mm -hmm. everything, no, no, nothing went to waste. Mm -hmm. But now there's an instrument that actually kind of mimics that sound. It's called the virus slap. And hopefully it won't be too loud. But when you hit down on the ball, these little pivots in here will mm -hmm. vibrate and it makes mm -hmm. it sound like... Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And so the good thing about percussion instruments is, is that it's a good learning tool to teach children about vibration, about rhythm, about um, a number of different things that are used every day in schools mm -hmm. to be able to um, to be able to move forward with it. So mm -hmm. we, we, we have a lot of good things that, that are in here. And then, you know, uh, I, I just I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, the opportunity to be able to, to train. I wish I had more time to do individual 
training mm -hmm. classes. Yes. I think that that's going to come eventually. I just mm -hmm. have to free up some more time, but um, just want to keep giving back to what's been given to me so many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and this uh, uh, show uh, at the Kennedy Center you're talking about, that, well, that is that? Uh, yeah. The one we, I had the opportunity to perform at the Kennedy Center on October 25th, and this mm -hmm. was uh, through a good friend of mine, Head Rock. Mm -hmm. um, he, he goes by the, the mayor of D.C., and he has a concept called Chocolate City Rocks. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, the, uh, one of three performers at the Millennium Stage mm -hmm. um, where we performed. And... The beautiful thing about it is that it's the Kennedy Center. Right. You know, that's just, exactly. you know, a professional environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can go on our YouTube page and you can view the, the video in its entirety. It's about 18 minutes long. Mm -hmm. um, but also, um, the, the good thing is you'll see the, the children interaction. Mm -hmm. There's one part in the video where you'll see one child. Um, I, I brought children up to do, do a, uh, the onion dance. We're going to do the onion video We're going to do the onion video, You're gonna do the onion video yeah. now? But, okay. But before that, when we came up on the stage, he came immediately to my bongos and he mm. just started playing the bongos right in the, right on the, on the Kennedy Center mm. stage and I let him because as I listened I realized he had some training and he had some skill and it was a wonderful clip so you'll be able to see that on the YouTube video mm. but um, but I mentioned the onion mm. uh, the onion song uh, yeah. I like onions mm. it's a song that I did um, just being silly <laughs> I love onions um, but the, in this particular video um, a good friend of mine uh, who's a, a great sax player in this area uh, allowed his daughter to come and be a part of the video. You'll see her in this video. Mm -hmm. And we did this video at a friend's house, um, you know, in, in the county and mm -hmm. uh, just had so much fun. So mm -hmm. I hope you enjoy it. This is called um, I Like I Like Onions. You like onions? Yes. Oh, oh great. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, you know what time it is? It's time to eat our vegetables. And you know what my favorite vegetable is? Onion. But the only problem is, every time I cut it up, <laughs> They just make me cry. <laughs>
still don't understand why they make me cry. I'm happy when I eat them in an onion pie. But after I eat them, don't you get too near. Cause if I breathe on you, I might make you tear. Say, eat them up, eat them. Say, mm-mm. Gonna eat them up, eat them. Say, mm-mm. Gonna eat them up, eat them. I said, mm-mm. I'm gonna eat them up, eat them. I said, mm-mm. I'm gonna eat them up, eat them. I said, mm-mm. I'm gonna eat them up, eat them. I said, mm-mm. I'm gonna eat them up, eat them. I said, mm-mm. I'm gonna eat them up. Hey, that was beautiful, that video. Tell Thank us you. a little bit more. You got an instrument there. Tell us about that one. Well, this here is a ukulele. Most mm -hmm. people look at it and say it looks like a guitar, but it's, a part, mm -hmm. it's part of the, the string That's what family. I thought it was. <laughs> it's a actually guitar. A, a ukulele. Mm -hmm. um, the ukulele has four strings. Mm -hmm. uh, on in January 1st, 2014, I picked it up and started playing it for the first time, and I can't put it down now. Is that right? And what this allows me to Without do... Without any lessons? Well, the lessons <laughs> I got was off of YouTube. I just off Googled you? on no YouTube. No kidding. There's so many ways that people can learn and you can play so many different songs and I mean you got your lessons off of YouTube that's right so you kids hit you hear that now you don't want to play you that's right go to YouTube go to YouTube I mean or you can email the Uncle Devin um, e email me at info at the Uncle Devin show and I'll send you specific sites mm -hmm. that you can go to to learn uh, the ukulele mm -hmm. and it's a good instrument because it, it now allows me sometimes if I can't uh, bring all my drums in mm -hmm. I can just bring some of the um, some of the equipment in and just do some of my songs. So, you know. So the one you just heard, like, I like onions. Yeah. And so I can just uh, play the song here. Um, I said, I just do my best to try and figure out just why do onions hey, make me cry. Oh. So those are different things that I can do. It allows me to be able to do a lot of nursery mm -hmm. rhymes if I'm playing mm -hmm. for a younger mm -hmm. crowd, mm -hmm. or even just kind of just have some other instrumentation. So. I love doing my music. Hey, that's fantastic. And youngsters, you know, you go to YouTube and there's a lot, a lot of things. I didn't know you could learn how to play an instrument from YouTube. Yes. <laughs> but yes. that's the way it is. We want to thank Uncle Devin. He's back. He'll be back again. Yeah, maybe he'll give us another lesson. This has been Ed Brown. See you next time. There's a candle burning. for you